evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the post-game press conference for the Eurobasket 2022 third place game between Germany and Poland. Final score 82-69. Germany finish third, Poland take uh, fourth place. We've been joined by Michal Sokolowski and head coach Igor Milicic for the Polish team. Michal, could you please share your thoughts on the game? Good evening, uh, everybody. Oh, that's really tough because we were so close to to this uh, bronze and like first half our defense was really good but we couldn't find some flow in, in the offense uh, second second half we come back to the game we thought that we are close but they find some open open spot for shots, they hit it, that was big for them and like congratulate. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Coach, could we have a statement from you please? Definitely. <coughs> we made some mistakes in the first half to open up some players that uh, were not supposed to have so much room and in offense like uh, Miha said, we didn't find a uh, right passes and right uh, spacing on the floor to uh, execute. We started the second half much better on that question and we came back to the game with uh, playing with a uh, good spacing, good ball sharing. And then uh, in the crucial situations, we knew that a uh, threat is coming from Voitman and uh, he ended up with being wide open and shooting uh, clutch shots, making those which we have to congratulate uh, Germany bronze medal, but also I want to congratulate big time my players. They were, they are heroes for me. They are uh, superstars for me, and what they presented through whole uh, tournament was amazing. So, heads down to my players, to my team, what they accomplished because we know nobody put us not even close to be on this spot, and we had some chances on this game. It sometimes happens. I hope. This is going to be a great experience for our, for our players, young, especially young ones, to develop into the much, much uh, higher level players than we are right now. Thank you. Let's now open the floor to the questions from the media. First, we'll take the questions in English, then the questions in Polish. Is there any question in English for Coach or for Michal? Questions in English? Thank you. Uh, thank you. A question for Michal. When you came back from 15 points down, uh, do you feel maybe it was a lack of experience at this level that caused you to, to uh, go for the win or was it something else? No, it wasn't lack of experience because uh, during this tournament, even the young guys or unexperienced guys uh, give your best and uh, that was like... Uh, for sure, they, they hit this Voitman trees, and that was something, that was just a mistake. And that was a big, big shot for him, so mm, I don't think it was lack of experience, for sure. Thank you. Any more questions in English? No. Then we'll take a few questions in uh, Polish, if there are any. Any questions in Polish over there? Mam pytanie do Michała. Powiedz, jak do to, tobie indywidualnie, ile, ile dodatkowej pewności siebie wiary w swoje umiejętności da ten turniej? Bo to, po obu stronach parkietu był to dla, dla ciebie świetny turniej, a szczególnie jako dałeś się poznać, patrząc na to, co działo się na boisku, ale też po opiniach ekspertów, jako świetny defensor, co w sumie w Polsce widzieliśmy, ale tutaj na arenie międzynarodowej, więc jak mocno cię to podbudowało przed sezonem klubowym? Bardzo dziękuję. Myślę, że cały czas miałem tą pewność siebie i, i po prostu może tak wyszło, że w tym turnieju miałem większą rolę niż na, poprzednim, na poprzedniej wielkiej imprezie. Dźwignąłem to, bo, bo tak jak mówię, byłem pewny siebie i, i tyle. Michał jest definitywnie uh, zawodnikiem, który jest na wysoki i najwyższy europski poziom. 
tim turnejem to udovodnio i v obronje i v ataku. Je to jeden z našich liderov, z čego še bardzo češimo. Any more questions in Polish? Please wait for the microphone. Thank you. Pytanie do trenera Miliciča. Wczoraj prezes Polskiego Związku Koszykówki powiedział, że pański kontrakt obowiązuje jeszcze na jeden rok kalendarzowy. Do Eurobasketu, który odbędzie się w naszym kraju, są trzy lata. Deklaracja wstępna. Czy pan chciałby poprowadzić reprezentację Polski za trzy lata w turnieju w Polsce? Myślę, że to jest pytanie nie na miejscu. Ja mam wielką dumę że jestem tutaj trenerem, kiedykolwiek e, będzie taka chęć, ja na pewno czuję tą e, chęć, e, szczęście, że jestem tutaj w tym miejscu, także nie, e, nie ma co w ogóle, to, 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 to jest pytanie takie retoryczne, oczywiście, że tak, oczywiście, że tak, z całego serca. Thank you. Any more questions in Polish? No, well, we have time for a final question in English there, I think. Let's take this one. Tell us about the career of uh, Aaron Sell with the national team. Thanks. One more time, I didn't know. The career of uh, Aaron Sell, who finished with the national team. Ah, okay, okay, okay. He, I mean, this is a great sportsman, great character, great person from all the sides uh, that's role model for the for the young uh, generations so just what i can say heads down and i hope it's not his last game <laughs> thank you very much thank you michal thank you coach and congratulations to team poland on a great journey here at eurobasket this concludes the first part of the press conference the second part will start shortly thank you
Welcome back everyone to the post-game press conference for this third place game between Germany and Poland. Final score 82-69. Germany finished third in this Eurobasket 2022. For this second part, we've been joined by Dennis Schroeder and head coach Gordon Herbert of Germany. First of all, congratulations to you both. Dennis, I think stepping on the podium was your uh, team's goal. Can you tell us uh, how it felt to uh, have this beautiful bronze medal around your neck? Yeah, I mean, that was uh, the Federation's goal uh, when Coach Herbert came in. Um, that was the goal for the team, um, to give up commitment, you know, for everyone, every player in this locker room, to give the commitment to be there. Um, and we worked hard uh, for it. And uh, it's an unbelievable feeling to come out, you know, third in the Euro basket. Thank you very much. Coach, could we also have an opening statement from you, please? Um, not sure what to say. Um, just uh, extremely proud of this group. Um, the commitment they made, the sacrifice they made. They told me it's 17 years since Germany won a medal. It's kind of fitting that Dennis Schroeder's number is 17. <laughs> um, You know, just in general, it's, it, it, it's been an unbelievable honor to coach these guys from day one. You know, we competed, but we also enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Obviously, we're, you know, we, we still have that little disappointment in from us from Friday. Um, you know, after we beat Greece, we thought we could get a little bit more. But this is sport, and uh, this will make us stronger going forward. And for me, it was a huge positive to come back today with a win and finish on a positive after these guys had just an outstanding tournament. Uh, just very proud of them. Thank you. Let's now open the floor to the questions from the media. We'll first take the questions in English, then in German. Let's start here. A question for Dennis, a uh, pretty simple one. What's the potential of that team? Yeah. What's the potential of that team? Our team? For the future? Um, I mean, we want to compete, you know, for First off, when we, when we came together for training camp, I seen all these rankings and we, we ranked, uh, I think, ninth and 10th, I think, for this tournament. Um, we got so much quality in this locker room, uh, not the, just the NBA players, but all the EuroLeague players, um, the guys who are playing in Germany, um, Johannes Thiemann, uh, Maude Law, all these guys, uh, they are dogs. And, um, I walk with them every day, and uh, I think we got so much potential um, over the next three, four years. With Wagner coming in, being 21, um, he's going to take over this national team as well. Um, he's an unbelievable character and uh, a good, you know, human being. And uh, I think everybody in this locker room uh, is just great, and everybody knew they well. Coach Herbert, you know, did a great job of telling everybody what they have to do exactly to be, you know, um, successful. And uh, if we keep doing this, then we're going to be uh, great going forward. Thank you. Next, next question over there, please. Coach Herbert, I have two questions. Uh, first question, you said you want to go further with this team. What exactly means it for the next two years, perhaps? And what did you tell them the moment after you get the medals and you uh, get your team together with you? Yeah, I think the, you know, when I t talked to these guys already in August, it was like a three-year commitment. Um, build, um, you know, Daniel Tice, Dennis Schroeder, they want it, you know, they, three years. And... Uh, I think when you look at any successful national team, they've been together a little bit, they establish an identity. And, you know, we're just starting with this group. 
Um, what did I tell them? Um, I just said it's very proud of them. We had a great tournament. It was an honor for me to coach them. One of the, one of the special moments of my life. Um, kids being born, number one. This is, uh, um, this is what, but this was really special. I mean, just, uh, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't so much, obviously this was nice to finish with, but it was the, the group, how they competed, how they enjoyed the, representing their country. Thank you. Next question here. Um, Roy Jankolov, it's uh, Israel Sport. My question is to both of you. First of all, congrats on winning the medal. Uh, what does this win mean for German basketball, and what does the tournament in general mean for German basketball development? Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, I think what it means for German basketball, I hope it's uh, going to be... Um, it's going to get, you know, bigger um, in Germany. I think uh, over the last year since I got to the league, um, it, got, um, it got better every year. But to have a, you know, European championship in your own uh, country, um, to have all the fans, you know, come in uh, on every game to support us and give everything they have. And um, I think we made it more sexier uh, for everyone and more trendy. Um, and uh, we just got to keep going forward. Uh, we're going to represent, you know, in the NBA for national team, uh, for, for the German uh, national team and uh, for the German German basketball in general. And uh, the guys, you know, who plays here in Europe are going to represent uh, Germany as well. So um, that was a good, I think, uh, tournament uh, for German basketball. And we just got to keep going forward from here. No, I'll just piggyback what Dennis said. I think it was great for German basketball with the following, the crowd support. Yeah. And um, I think Bronswipe's going to be pretty good next year. I hope so. <laughs> but I, I believe so. going to be straight. Thank you. Next question here in the middle, please. It's a question to, to coach. Um, first of all, congratulations for the, for the um, medal. We talked a couple of times, or you talked about adversity and how you liked um, how the team reacted um, to adversity. If you look back now, what was the biggest adversity you, you had on, on this, this journey and um, how you managed to come over it? Was it the last game or what was it? I think there was a few things. I mean, um, we had some, I wouldn't say it was adversity, but it was a situation. I mean, Dennis was out five, six days with an ankle injury. Den Daniel uh, Tice was out. Nick Nick Babb was out. You know what? And they went. And di they went and did treatment. They did physio, and they came back. And I think that says a lot about this team. For me, that says, you know, they wanted to be here. They wanted to play. It was an honor to play for their country, in their homeland. Um, yeah, and I, obviously the the loss on Friday was tough. There's no doubt about it. Um, I didn't sleep much, um, you know, and it, it hurt Friday, it hurt Saturday, but we, we talked about it, we got over it, um, you know, and basically we said, I mean, what's happened has happened, we can't do anything about it, but we can do something about Sunday and give players tremendous credit um, how they came out today. Thank you. Next question. Jonas Miklovas, basketnews.com. Dennis, after the game, you embraced uh, Robin Bensing, and it wasn't uh, a, a very regular uh, hug. It was a very warm hug, it looked like. Could you share uh, what you were guys talking at that moment? It looked like a warm hug, you said? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... Robin is, uh, you know, his commitment over the last 13, 14 years um, been incredible, you know, and um, I mean, I get to know him, um, or I got to know him uh, the last couple of years uh, as a captain, and he sacrificed uh, for us, um, leaving his family, his daughter had, uh, I think her birthday is on the 
September 1st um, always uh, was with us and not even with his daughter. And uh, having a kid, I know uh, what feeling that is. So um, for him to do those things, uh, he deserves, you know, um, the captain. And uh, of course, uh, it didn't work out this summer. Um, but like I said, I'm going to stick to it. If he didn't, if he don't get a medal like this, uh, I'm going to give him mine because he deserves it. Thank you. Do we have a final question in English? Uh, Vasily Kikaramuza from BN Sports Greece. Um, uh, qu question to both of you. I overheard uh, Daniel Tai saying that uh, after this medal you will get uh, the respect you deserve. Uh, do, you s do you share the same thought? Did you feel disrespected at any point throughout this tournament? And if yes, by whom? Me personally or the team? Ah. Uh. You want to go or? Um, you know, it, uh, I don't know. It, it is where it is. Um, I, th I thought one we had we one we had very good team, and two we have some extremely talented players, and we really stressed from day one. Hey, people say there's no I in team. I think there is I in team, but we need team first, and we need the individuals. And I think you saw that we have some extremely talented individuals. And, but I don't know if we are disrespect or not. I, I can't really comment on that. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not on Twitter, so. I was on it, <laughs> on Instagram. Uh, we was ranked ninth. Ranked ninth? Ninth or 10th uh, for this tournament. Yeah, I'm not even sure what Instagram is, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we, of course, uh, stayed together and we was just practicing um, every day, try to get better every single day and um, got together. Our team chemistry was uh, amazing. And um, yeah, we accomplished something uh, this, this tournament and uh, we want to keep going forward and uh, keep getting better so um, we can, uh, get more of those. Uh, I like this feeling right here, so <laughs> just got to uh, keep going and work hard. Thank you. Do we have any questions in German? Um, ich möchte nicht die Feierstimmung verderben, aber uh, die Zukunft liegt ja auch schon auf der Hand. Die Weltmeisterschaft, die Olympischen Spiele hoffentlich. Ähm, bei diesem Turnier haben Sie gegen äh, Mannschaften mit zwei, drei NBA-Spielern gespielt. Bei den nächsten Turnieren kann es passieren, dass Sie gegen das Team kommen, in dem zwölf NBA-Spieler stehen. Ähm, wie, wie wird sich das anfühlen? Was für eine Figur werden Sie da machen? Gegen USA, oder was? Also, äh, die sind genauso Menschen wie wir auch. Ähm, Im Endeffekt, ich spiele gegen ähm, all von denen, die sind natürlich, also wenn jetzt alle wirklich spielen, dann wird es natürlich schwierig, aber ich meine, in 40 Minuten kann wirklich alles passieren und äh, so muss halt unsere Mentalität sein und so war sie, glaube ich, diesen Sommer, ähm, wo wir äh, gegen Frankreich gespielt haben, ähm, wir hatten keine Fehl, also wir haben einfach gespielt und haben an uns geglaubt, weil wir so hart dafür gearbeitet haben und ähm, Ja, natürlich äh, wollen wir dann äh, USA ein bisschen später bekommen, äh, wenn es möglich ist. Aber im Endeffekt ähm, ist egal, gegen wen wir spielen. Wir fokussieren uns immer auf uns. Thank you. As the next game is about to start, we can take maybe one final question. Let's take this one. Then we'll let Dennis and Coach celebrate their first place. Please. First place. Dennis, wie wird heute Abend gefeiert? Habt ihr einen Plan oder macht ihr alles spontan? Ich weiß auch noch nicht. Ich versuche gerade äh, irgendwas zu dribbeln hier. Äh, aber ähm, ja, ich, äh, ich gucke mal. Ich versuche kurz äh, mal einen DJ anzurufen. Vielleicht äh, kriegen wir einen Spot da, wo wir äh, feiern können heute. Dankeschön. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Just say uh, thank, you. thank you. I appreciate everything and um, it was a joy. I'm going to miss you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.